What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Demos Gaming and today we are playing Valheim. So, I am upgrading my crude bow because we are about to head out and kill the boss. What's the boss's name? I can't remember. <laughs> Ike Theer, that's it, that's it, I just remembered. So, we got the uh, crude bow upgraded a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit nicer than it was before. It does probably a little bit more damage, I'm assuming. I hope it does a little bit more damage. Anyway, uh, let's uh, take a quick little sleep here. We're gonna get some Zs, uh, or catch some Zs, find some Zs. You know, I don't, I don't know, we're gonna get the Zs. And then we're gonna head out one way or another. So, uh, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. So really, all that we need to fight Ikethir is a deer trophy. And then I've got my stacks of arrows, so we should be fine. So, I think we have to head up this away. So, let's get going. Yes! <laughs> Fucking got you, boy. Oh, welcome to another episode of P.O.P. Pissing off PETA. <laughs> okay, so if I remember correctly, the best way for me to get over here is to cross right here, but I need my stamina to be as high as I can possibly get it, because if you run out of stamina while you're in the water, you'll actually drown. So I'm going to come out to this little rock here, and then, yeah, kind of hop up on top of it. King of the castle, king of the hill, that kind of thing. Wait for everything to go back up. I'm actually going to eat another raspberry, just for the heck of it. I don't really need to eat a ton until I get in the boss battle. My rested bonus is actually about to go away, because I was pissing off PETA. But anyway, all right, so let's swim across here, and then Ike Theer is just going to be a little bit to the north. So in the last episode, we just got some, like, armor, you know, some real basic, like, leather armor and that kind of thing, and then made a good amount of arrows, uh, so I, I think we'll be fine. Like, I think we're going to be good to go. I'm really not worried. This first boss fight is quite simple. Like, it's really easy. Um, the other... Not so much, but this one's a piece of cake. So it looks like we're coming up on his little sacrificial altar. Should I grab some raspberries? Sure, I shall partake, even though I think um, right before the battle, I'm going to try and eat some different types of food. I'm probably going to eat like a necktail and then eat some meat. Hopefully I, ooh, hopefully I can eat some meat. Probably try to grab some honey as well. I'll just eat as much as I possibly can. So, let's see, we got the altar here. Looks like we actually have some houses right here. Hello, Hugin. You have found a summoning place of one of the Forsaken. Make the cracked offering at the altar and they will come. Be wary though, the Forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, and need a hearty meal prior to engaging in contact. Before, whatever. Okay, so where do I want to fight him? I guess um, out here is probably good enough. I think it's pretty clear and open, so. Anyway, um, oh god, I thought he just dropped a feather. I was like, I will take that feather, but no, I can't do that. So, uh, what I'm gonna do here is, let's switch a couple things out. I have plenty of these flame arrows. I think I'm gonna put that up there as well. Uh, so right before I do this, let me go ahead and eat this honey. I'm gonna also eat, oh crap, that's it? Oh man, okay, well, here, let's, I wonder if you can eat stuff when they're on the hot bar. All right, so all that we're gonna do is switch over to four here, and then we've made the sacrifice. And then we're gonna go, oh God, that's so shaky. <laughs> and then we're gonna hit seven to switch over to our flame arrows. And there's old Ike. Old Ike, hello Ike. And we're just gonna hit him with as many flame arrows as we possibly can. We are standing a little too close for that. That's all right. So yeah, just load them up with the flame arrows. That's why I made a lot of these. Oop, okay. There we go. Try and get away from those as quickly as possibly can. Oh man. Crap. <laughs> so. Oh no. Where the hell did you come from? Okay, so we have a boar joining the party here. That's not fun. <laughs> Hopefully I can kill that boar. There we go. Got him. 
Uh oh. Oh, we got another joy of <laughs> four joining the party. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Let me see, can I eat that neck tail now? I'm still full. Alright. <clears throat> Try and kill this more. Health is still doing fine. Um, I was not expecting to run into boars. And he's uh, he's a little more aggressive than I remember him the last time I fought him. Maybe they might have made an update to this boss fight. That's good though, it's good though. Makes it more of a challenge. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn it. So. Out of stamina. I'm gonna try and eat another necktail. Still can't eat necktails. Shiza. Let me try something else here. I'm just trying to get my food up as high as I possibly can, because right now it's kind of low, so if I get too many too many attacks from him, I'm going to be in trouble. Man, and that, that attack seems to do a lot more damage. Although his health is pretty low, so I'm just going to finish him off. Here we go. Boom! There you go, son. Goodbye, Ike. Goodbye. Alright, so that's like fear, and my well-rested bonus is just about to go away, so that actually probably was uh, good timing on my part. So, cool, so I think we picked up a couple things from him. Let me eat that. Let me eat a mushroom as well. So, what all did we get? We got hard antlers, which are going to come in handy to make some stuff here in the future, and the Ikthyr trophy, which actually we're going to take back to the, uh, the circle stones here and put those down. Let me see if I can find those couple, like, uh, like uh, boars that I killed. I'd like to get that later. Oh, you bring tidings. Okay, well, we'll talk to you first. Return to the sacrificial stones with your Forsaken Trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to the gods to make the gods smile upon you. Make a smile. Uh, you know, I must have picked up that stuff from the boars. I actually don't see it anywhere, but um, let's switch over to these guys. And I'm going to make you pay for your brother's mistakes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to pay. Who <laughs> did Ah, uh, yes, we'll, re we'll read the rune stone. Hunt his kin. Oh, yeah, that's like, I guess, each one of these things has like a, a hint on it that kind of tells you what to give as a sacrifice. So, yeah, in that case, it was just deer trophies, basically. Right. <laughs> okay, let's cross back over the river and make sure that we wait for our stamina to completely regenerate before doing so, because I don't want to die today. All right, we're back at the stones. We got an asshole standing around at the stones. Get out of the here. I don't want you around my stones. You're going to dirty up my stones. I like them to be clean stones. All right, so we're going to, I guess, read this. But I feel like it's just going to put it right up there, right? His antlers are branches of iron. They crack the rocks and bring down mountains. The shoes are the sound of thunder's voice. So hell do. All right, well, let's, uh, okay. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Thanks. 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 All right. <laughs> you know, I guess I can just press four on that, and then... What? Huh? Oh, there we go. Okay, I was like, what the hell is going on? So, once we put this down, we can actually activate a power through this. Jump stamina usage and run stamina usage minus 60%, which is awesome. So yeah, let's see what Haugen has to say about this. Hugh and Haugen. Uh, you have been granted the power of Ike Theory. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands, and uncover their lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits. That's the next boss. Now, let's grab this ability. And now, um, pretty much approximately once a day, there's basically a timer on it. We can do this. Press F. And it activates his power, and we can freaking run like the wind. It's awesome. Ah, uh, all right, so that was a good day's worth of work there. Uh, we defeated Ikthyr. The next thing that we're going to have to do is that one place that I pretty much tried to completely stay out of in the last episode, we got to go in there and just start, like, getting kind of prepared for the next boss fight. But anywho, um, where the hell's my door? Ooh, some, some honey. Oh, there's a door. Okay. 
All right, so let's go in here. Um, God, I murdered so much deer and uh, pigs while I was out, so I have a lot more of that stuff. Uh, so yeah, we have a couple things that we can make. I think I can craft... Ah, I don't have enough. Okay, I have bone fragments, but I don't have enough to make that, it looks like. Deer hide cape, I need five. All right, so I'm pretty dang, pretty darn close. Pretty dang darn close. So anyway, that's basically it for this episode. On the next episode, we will be heading into the Dark Forest, which is kind of down in this area, basically. I think we that's like a little little hint of the Dark Forest there. It's just kind of like a, you know, just like a little scratch of it. We just need to, we need to get into this whole area down here. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, the next episode, we're going into the Dark Forest, and we're going to start getting prepared to fight the Elder. Uh, so yeah, we got, we got some stuff to do. Anyway, oh, it's nighttime. So anyway, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have to fight a giant deer that shoots lightning at you, uh, set his ass on fire. That's what I did, and it worked quite well. See you on the next episode.